hello folks so in this video i am going to introduce to you heroku platform in order to deploy our sentiment analysis web app on cloud so that it is no more remain confined to our local system when you have built something interesting then you should show it to the entire world this is an introductory video related to heroku platform as a service where i am going to cover the architecture as well as other basic details of it Please note that Heroku is free hosting service where you can deploy your machine learning app on internet and share the URL with everyone so that everyone can see your machine learning application. So watch this video till the end to set the foundation. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI based products and application. So if you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So what exactly is Heroku? Well, Heroku is a platform as a service. So basically, we just develop our application and, you know, we are done because rest everything else is taken care by Heroku. That is from infrastructure setup to scaling to deployment. So we just need to you know do a git push and uh, our sentiment analysis web app will then be available for the entire world to explore i will be using a git workflow to uh, deploy uh, our application now in order to make our uh, app available for entire world we need to have a server where we can keep the required files like keras machine learning dot h5 extension file all the python libraries which are required to run our application and other supporting add-ins uh, we can uh, you know either use a server which is available on premise in the company or we can utilize uh, you know cloud infrastructure to host our application we can either use uh, iaas or uh, infrastructure as a service of aws azure that is microsoft azure or google cloud for that purpose I have created a separate playlist where I have deployed my web application on Microsoft Azure. You can go through the link given uh, in the i button above to access that playlist. These cloud uh, providers charge for infrastructure by hour. So it's pretty cheap as compared to on-premise server setup. Heroku is a you know platform as a service in which we can uh, just focus on writing the application and they can take care of spinning up the server scaling it up it also takes care of load balancing which means that you know in case of increased load or number of users the platform automatically spins up additional servers to meet the demand so let's go through heroku's architecture so when a user visits your website they are actually forwarded to heroku's load balancer load balancer takes this incoming traffic and you know it routed to uh, to the available servers heroku's servers are called as dynos and these dynos don't keep any data in fact in order to store data we need to spin up um, you know any external databases like postgres or you know use plugins to connect to uh, databases like mysql or sql server so please note that these dynos constantly created and um, are created and destroyed based on the traffic volume so load balancer automatically spin up additional dynos based on the traffic volume in order to distribute the traffic among these dynos and uh, load balancer also deletes these dynos if the traffic volume is not high okay so in a nutshell your website can handle the load without even letting you know thanks to platform as a service called Heroku. Now let's understand step by step the complete flow of how can we deploy our sentiment analysis web app using Heroku. It is just a theoretical uh, knowledge I am providing you here. Practical we will be doing in the next video. 
So number one step is to create the web app and in our case it's sentiment analysis web app. So next we push or fork this app on github to uh, you know uh, to a specific repository. Uh, next we create a Heroku application which will act as a template which will generate the actual servers to support your application when your application gets deployed there okay um, now when you create uh, this application your local git repository will get modified to get, uh, you know to reflect a new endpoint called Heroku so we can either push the code to a original git repository or heroku repository uh, when we push the code to heroku repository the template gets modified for any new servers so when we do git push heroku we actually update the template and from where we can generate the servers the command to spin up a server or new server is called heroku ps dot scale okay so I repeat it's Heroku PS dot scale and then we provide the process name and the number of servers. Now the uh, web servers are assigned to the service web which is in a way a special type of server which receives the request made to your application URL. For example if we write Heroku PS dot scale web equals to 2 then 2 servers will be spawned. So folks this is it for this video to conclude i gave an introduction of what exactly is heroku and its architecture so let me ask you a question from today's today's video can we store the data into dynos please post your comment into the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section i will be glad to answer your questions if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching. Thank you.